what? Yeah. No, I'm... Yeah, I'm behaving myself. I'm, no, I'm not playing in abandoned buildings. What? Again? Now. I suppose you had those people follow me again. Fine. Hey. This is Jimmy Farrow from Monty and the Farrow, and I want to thank all our subscribers. We have now passed 14,000 on our YouTube channel, but I want to ask our subscribers to take the next step for us and become a full-fledged member of Monty and the Farrow. Yeah, that's right, folks. There's three different levels to choose from. There's free shirts. There's free autographs. Just check it out and become a member of Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh. Later. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty the Farrow, only seen here out of Indie Music TV, straight out of Rock Conkama, Long Island, at the board, the Untangler, the magic of Jared's. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you guys? How do you feel coming in the studio every every Thursday and having to fix everything? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's like a it's like a new mountain to climb. Mm. It's, yeah, it's like Mount Everest. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, I'd never think that untangling wires would be it's like compared comes, to it, Mount Everest. It's like it comes <laughs> into play Rubik's Cube every time he comes oh, in. Let me see if a, I can solve this fucking thing. It's like, thing. what else did they fuck up Very the, week, the whole week before? Well, Spidey's labeling everything now, so just in case next week, wire, he's putting wire on it, <laughs> yeah. you know, an on button. Pen. 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 Right. Oh, you put, like, pen, like, put you, a sticker on it. Signs next to the pens. Blue Marcus pen, yeah. red pen. Pink marker. <laughs> Pink marker. <laughs> marker. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so Phil, so. I know I'm kind of jumping out of script because you didn't, Farrow, I know you didn't want to go on it, but well, Farrow and I were filming this week in pro wrestling and Janetti yeah. wrote me and he said, um, yeah. said that uh, Lisa Marie Presley just passed away where we were going to announce that, you know, she had a heart attack or whatever. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not trying to put her in front of Jeff Beck. Listen, this just happened. So, you know, I got um, it. I got it. It just happened. Mm. So thoughts on Lisa Too Marie young. Presley? I, well, I, apparently, what, what did it say? 50, 54? You know, um, Spidey, did you see anything, or Mike, did you see anything as to what it was that, that took her from, uh, took her away from us? I... Uh, well, she was look, you know, she was at the Golden Globes two days before because uh, the the actor for that Elvis movie. I, I don't know if you've seen it. No, it's pretty good. Okay, it's different. My wife hates it. What makes it different? Um, it's because it's not just like a regular movie. It's like I'm like new music and it's kind of a musical but it's not a musical huh. it sounds different it's funny um All by right. the way eso says iron Pharo in tonight you got your iron Pharo shirt yes on. i do thank you brucey um, thank you my wife we went to the movies and a long not too long well a long time ago we went to see lincoln yeah and, and my wife the whole movie was like uh like every two minutes uh and I'm like, I'm never going to bring you to the movie <laughs> yeah. again because you just ruined it. But anyway, now, if something's <laughs> bad, the? it's compared to Lincoln. Okay. Is it above Lincoln or below wow. Lincoln? Lincoln was that bad, huh? Was Lincoln, Lincoln that bad? It was pretty bad. I never saw it. Who it was saw, long. Who played Lincoln? Um, guys, who played who played Lincoln? Okay. Um, How old is this movie? It's pretty old. Not that old. Well, but what's uh, pretty old? Daniel Day-Lewis plays Lincoln. Wow, he's a fantastic actor. Oh, was, he, his was, acting wasn't it was bad. bad. It was just wow. torturous, dude. Okay. I, it was a, oh, interesting. So my wife compares <laughs> things to Lincoln. She's wow. like, this movie's as bad as Lincoln. This movie's worse than Lincoln. Mm. Not many movies hit her worse than Lincoln. Well, Lincoln ruined Tim Burton's uh, Planet of the Apes. 
at the end because they, they see the Lincoln Memorial and everything's all fucked up. You know how in the original Plot of the Apes it was the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. That, that Charlton Heston right. discovered buried? Well, this one was like the Lincoln Memorial with an ape instead Dude, of Abe how did, Lincoln. how did you like that? What, Tim, Tim Burton's Burton. remake? I thought it was awful. It was, it well, was off the original book. I read the original book. What I remember about it was is, is that if you take away that absolutely ridiculous ending, it's okay. But that ending just turns an okay movie into, man, you just took two of my two hours. I'm never going to get back. So that's how I felt about that. Stinger says Daniel. You're right, Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis is a tremendous actor. Yep. Wow. By the way, Jay Will says Heisman Trophy winner Charles White passed away. All right, can we have some wow. good news what here, guys, going really? On here? I want to get back to Planet of the Apes. All right. How much did you love growing up? Why? Because we were talking earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had the Planet of the Apes TV show that right. came on, that which I enjoyed 70s. immensely, which you didn't seem like you were a big fan it of. It was just okay. And we also had the Planet of the Apes on Saturday morning cartoon, that which was, I enjoyed. And again, that was just okay. I was just, I was satisfied with the movies. The what movies was your were, favorite Planet of the Apes movie? The original is a masterpiece. It doesn't it matter. It is a masterpiece. No matter what the other movies But beneath followed, the Planet of the Apes... Big, I liked it a lot. Actually, the one that broke my heart was Escape, which was involved the baby, the baby ape, the child. Escape has a comedy Pretty good level movie. to it. Again, very poor gorilla outfit. Yeah, well, that's, you know, <laughs> that's you really do? bad. But I'll tell you what, the great Roddy McDowell and Doc, you know, Doctor, uh, you know, Zero and everything. Boy, the makeup was tremendous. Very entertaining movie. Tremendous. The original Escape is very entertaining. Escape. Is Conquest great. actually was on last night. Did you find it better than you remembered? Because the last yes. two were not as nearly as good. Conquest, as, you know, I gotta but, tell you, when, they, depends, when they're electrocuting but, Caesar, yeah, um, yeah, you know what, dude? I gotta tell you, all of them. It was a great franchise. It is a great. By the way, it was franchise. a franchise before Star Wars and Alien were a franchise. Do you realize how important the Planet of the Apes franchise is? Absolutely, because it's before what we got used to having. Where franchises, it kind of set the bar. But if you pay you attention know. very Although closely, Universal Monsters are the ones who really set the bar. If you pay attention for very franchise. closely, like I do, mm -hmm. the first Planet of the Apes is is pretty amazing. much flawless. It is. It's amazing. The the next one beneath the Planet of the Apes, they must have had cutbacks on the film. There's a drop because off. if you look at the apes in that movie, right. they right. really put on some really <laughs> shitty masks on a lot of people just just yeah. just to make it get Isn't by. Isn't that what usually happens? You know, with with a lot of franchises. Well, not all of them, but it, it happens Maria, eventually. Maria saying, uh, yes, too many people have passed away. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, speaking of that, Rip Jeff Beck, legendary, legendary rock guitarist, musician, yeah. dead at 78. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Beck, the rock guitarist. Yeah, Jeff Hold Beck, uh, you know, original, uh, you know, originally first came to uh, be known as a member of the Yardbirds. He replaced Eric Clapton. In the yard, yes, birds, he did. Yep. You know, and then he goes on to form his own, you know, band. Uh, by the way, Yardbirds had of Shapes of Things. By the way, Shapes of Things is such a great song. Anyway. Bacterial meningitis, so which is the, fucking like sounds awful. No, but it's like I didn't even know that it was even around anymore. I, I've I've heard of it over the course of our time. It sounds awful. I mean, what so, happens to you when you have something? What like is that? what is Beck's greatest song in your opinion? Well, I love Shapes of Things from the Yardbirds. You know, Come Tomorrow. You know yeah, the it's song. A great it's song. a great, great song. Great song. Um, but he did a lot of other very interesting things. He wasn't just rock. He would he did like jazz fusion. He had he won six Grammys. Okay, so the guy, you know, he's also it, from what I remember. In the 60s, there were three guitarists that were always mentioned, always together. Hendrix, Clapton, and Jeff Beck. Mm. These were the big three names that were always mentioned about the 60s. And oddly enough, a band member of Jeff Beck's when he was in the Yardbirds, when the Yardbirds split off, the other guitarist went on to form a band, perhaps you've heard of him, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Because Jimmy Page was a Yardbird, so... Uh, you know, his uh, Jeff started as a studio musician originally and, and paved the rest of the way, found his way into this business and was uh, named by Rolling Stone as one of the five greatest guitarists of all time. So he must have done something right. JB know? says, Shapes of Things, Train Keeper Rolling. Oh, Train Keeper Rolling. Of course. Of course. Yep. There goes another one. Jeff Beck was 78 and, uh, you know, uh, forever legend. You know, you really can't uh, deny what he did. Had an amazing career. Ron Jeremy has severe dementia Speaking and will be declared career. incompetent <laughs> to stand trial on rape charges. Incompetent. Ron Jeremy is set to be declared incompetent uh, to stand trial per a new report. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the first report of Los Angeles Times, a 69-year-old adult film star who was initially charged with allegedly raping three Ooh, women oh, and sexually assaulting scummy. another woman in 2020 has been determined to have severe dementia. The severe report cites dementia. an email from Paul Thompson, Los Angeles County attorney, as revealing that experts enlisted on both sides of the case made dementia determination. Mm. So I ask you this. Was he losing his mind when he allegedly did these things? Because I'm trying to figure out a, a guy who was an adult film star why he would ever need to do anything forcefully with on a woman. What the hell's wrong with this asshole? I'm trying to understand. <laughs> like, seriously. What is, what is, again, is yeah. it just a point where people feel so powerful they can do whatever uh, they want? Uh, you know what? In Ron Jeremy's case, you're probably right. He probably, th he probably thinks to himself, and you know what's weird? He may not be wrong if he had the perception that I'm the Ric Flair of this damn business when it comes to men. Right. And you know what's funny? I mean, at least Ric Flair was, you know, uh, a handsome, uh, blonde-haired man in a suit back in the day. This guy looks like a foot with uh, fuzz. Well, you know, we didn't have a lot of time to discuss <laughs> it, but... Sorry, you know, Mr. Jeremy, just, I mean, you know, but... I'm not geez. trying to put this at the same level, but yeah. we had Daniela Petro in la yes, last Daniela, episode. Yeah, okay, Daniela, yeah. What were your thoughts about that whole situation? What did you come out of that? You know... Did you become less of a... Riddle fan, did you feel that she was? Because the feedback from people, there's there's multiple types of feedback, and right. some people feel like, you know, hey, look, she knew what she was getting into. She coerced him what? with, you know, these type of videos. Right, okay. Yada, yada, yeah, yada. Well, and yeah, some people, yeah, you know. I understand that why somebody would say something like that. I get it. Um, what did I think? Well, you know, she when you're talking to the person, I, I just felt a lot of pain coming from her, and... It was hard for me to ignore that, so it was. It it didn't help my image of Matt Riddle. Do I do I know for sure if all of it's true or what percentage of it? No, of course I don't know. You know, but I felt that I felt she was telling the truth. I I I, I hope that that's not the truth because I don't, if it is the truth, Matt Riddle is no good. What is going on here? You know, Jay Will says no good. my theory is that these Hollywood types have had so much regular yeah. does not work anymore. Bill Cosby, David Carradine, etc. That's right. a great point. I, right. Again, I'll go back to Jake the Snake and Beyond the Mat, where right. it's like the more famous he got, right. first one woman, then it right. was two, right. then it was. Two women in a chair, then right. it was three women in a house, uh -huh. and a dog, and uh -huh. a cat, and yeah. you know, I get, I, yeah, again, I, I've never been in that case, so right. I, you I mean, know. Ric Flair's drug is is wrestling; he can't stop that and drinking. Well, obviously, but you know what I'm saying, though. I mean, you know, you, you get so carried away with the I've, whole. I've thing. got a theory on Ric Flair. I think Ric Flair likes the life after the matches. Yes, I think he enjoys the time with the. Boys. Absolutely. I think he I think he loved all of it. All of it. Yeah, I think he loved the like all of it. When we'd have sex with women, I think in his mind is like, oh, I can't wait to tell the boys about this one probably. tomorrow. Right. They were all they were all probably having uh, you know stories yeah. about each other's stories. You remember New Jack talking about oh, yeah. they were having contests. I I did five, I did seven, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like wow, okay. Well, to each his own. Well, to each your own <laughs> legally. That yes, is. please. By all means. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. I'm in trouble with my computer today, people. Are you? All right. Well, Playboy like model it. murdered Sugar Daddy Where's after this? he stopped paying her rent. I don't see this. A former Playboy model. I added it. I'm sorry. <laughs> A former Playboy model. What did he do? Has been jailed for her role oh, in the murder do? of her 71 year old Sugar Daddy. After he stopped paying her $3,200 rent, Kelsey Turner and then boyfriend John Kenson beat Dr. Thomas Bircher to death, stuffed his body in a boot of her car, prosecutor said. The psychiatrist's decomposing body was found in an abandoned oh. vehicle outside Las Vegas near Lake Mead, oh. March 2019. Detectives determined that it's been bludgeoned by with a blunt, blunt instrument, such as a baseball bat. That's great. What do you think? What do I think? We're going to waste our tax dollars on those two scumbags? Are they going to actually First of all, if you live in Vegas, do something better than stuffing a body somewhere because it's going to smell. It's hot, right? And what was she? What was her? What was she? She was a, a Playboy model. She's a Playboy model, but she needs a 71-year-old dude to take advantage of. That's the best she could do? She right. could have shaken her ass and found something better. What is she doing? What are you doing? That's just insanity, dude. Why do you give me this shit? That's insanity. And we're going to waste our tax dollars on a case for these idiots? 
Fuck them, hang them now. <laughs> no, no trial, no tax, no waste of money. How do you stuff a whole body into a shoe, by the way? I think it's a car. With boot. a baseball bat? That's my, my, mind. Go, go, go. Down, down, down. No, seriously. What is this, a cartoon? How do you get a whole body into a shoe? <laughs> I'm serious. What is... Wow. You, well, you gave you gave me a dumb story. You're gonna get a dumb joke. All right, there we're gonna. Go. We also want to just tell everybody out there if you have a little money to donate, we've got a cat out there by the name of Biscuits. What's wrong? We're with asking this? for Biscuits a second chance. Biscuits was given up by her family don't, don't tell after me. the uh, parent had died. And Biscuits has a lot of medical issues, and she was set to be put down. Oh come on! And um, there's a GoFundMe page. I sent you that GoFundMe page, there, bro. I think I did on there. If you could pop it up at some point during the show. Man, does the Farrell love cats? I can resend it to you if you'd like. Try to help biscuits out. But if you know, if you have a little extra cash, I think they're just looking for a thousand dollars. I think they're at like three hundred thirty dollars. You know, um, so if you could donate the biscuits, that would be nice. I know we're gonna donate the biscuits. I'm just sorry. I'm just sending this off. Keep me going here. I'm I can't keep you going. I'm depressed. You know Jared. how much I love cats? The Pharaoh has cats. I've always had cats. I've had generations and generations of them. I love them. They're just fantastic animals. They really are. You know, honestly, dude, I'm not a cat guy. That's okay. You're a dog guy. I happen to be a cat and a dog why? guy. Why? Yeah, but why? Like, cats are like, they, cats, they do their own thing. Cats are fascinating to me and they're also timeless there's something about cats cats go back in history you can look in ancient uh, hiero you know you know artifact you'll see cat drawings the, the cats cats have you know some societies worshiped cats i just i love cats i love the fact that they're for the most part self-sustaining uh they are very loving they don't get enough uh credit for being loving my cats thank you jared like, the, like, the gofundme thank up there. you thank you uh my cats are like family to me they are my best friends. Uh, they are very affectionate. They know every emotion. That, Phil, you thank know. you. We will donate that five dollars. Thank you, sir. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank very you. nice they, of you guys. They, they are. They really are very loving animals. I I love my boys. I got three of them currently. I got a father and two sons. Hmm. They're actually family, legitimate uh, blood related to each other. Uh, so I want to remind boys. everybody out there: if you are a member, Help biscuits, if please. you're a member of our YouTube page, um, part of the Part of the deal of being a member at a certain level is mm -hmm. you'll get a video of any guests that's coming in. Right. So we will be shooting personal videos for you for you members of the channel, uh, right. like when Enzo's in here. Right. So if anyone's not a member and wants to be a member, again, any guests that's in here, we're going to shoot a little personal video from that wrestler awesome. to you guys. Okay. That's awesome. To my right is the star of the show, Mr. Jimmy Farrow. Jimmy, along with his partner, Ow. Bart Griggs. Make up the band with Stereo <clears throat> Hall. Bartman! With Stereo Hall sings such great songs as In My Dreams, This Life, Not Far Behind, Here Comes the Rain. You can find their music on the Wisteria Hall YouTube page. Please hit that like and subscribe. Hit it. The, like it. Download it on Spotify, Apple Music, Reverb Nation. And we'll have an appearance by Bart Griggs in studio on Saturday when we're having Ooh. an interview with Enzo. And we're also doing an How interview doing? with... Uh, Super Agent Eric Sims, your buddy. Yeah. Hide the forks and knives. Who <laughs> wow. Who Farrow <coughs> who I like Farrow Eric. says that I do. Eric he's gonna ruin like. he's gonna ruin the couch. Well, I asked Spidey if he had reinforced those coils and he's telling me that the couch can handle it. It's a strong couch, right, Spidey? That's what you said. Correct. 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 You can at least reach for the if microphone. You didn't know what an effort over there. Long like, Island's number correct. one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty DeFaro's Catch us on the Monty DeFaro YouTube page, Monty DeFaro Facebook Live page here is on iHeartRadio, like Spotify, on the radio. Anchor, Twitch TV, Monty DeFaro page. If you're lucky to live in New York, Channel 115 every Wednesday at 7.30 and enough. Saturday at 11 a.m. So we'll kind of be doing battle with our cable show on Saturday. We're going to war with ourselves. That's right. Like, We're going to win the ratings. One way or the other, this, we will win the this ratings. It's like Bray Wyatt. Is Uncle Howdy kind of come out? He's at war with himself. Uncle Who Howdy. is Uncle Howdy? Who cares? I, that's wrong of you, man. You're not backing our company right now. Answer the question. Who's Uncle Howdy? I was hoping it was going to be Barry Windham, but that ain't I happening. don't think so. So, Monty's not, wrong again. It's not going to be Kendall either. <laughs> So I guess it's going to be Bo Dallas. Awesome. Boring. I believe. I believe. I love it. That'd be great. Great. 
Wait a minute. How can his uncle, uh, Bo Dallas is Uncle how Howdy? Whoop de do. How can his brother be his uncle? This is getting kind of kinky. Seriously, That's why it's terrible. It's very strange. Yeah, I don't think it's it's going very slow and it's not going anywhere. But they it? have a lights out match sponsored by Mountain Dew, so it's good. Well. Do <laughs> wait a minute. They soft drink is now part of the ag. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Are you sure they have a great, great market? Are you sure they have just like Monty and the Pharaoh is is supported by all these many uh, many of our great sponsors okay, like Good Fucking Wine, Pickles. Yeah, but let's get to the real one. Don't forget. wait. Yeah. Where is my manscape? Dude, Somebody guys, stole my manscape. Someone stole Pharaoh's manscape. They walked manscaped. off the set with my manscape. So manscape sends us goods from what they got, and someone stole Pharaoh's manscape. Do you realize manscaped? how hairy my nuts are going to be now? Hairy nuts. That's, it's just a holy bull sack. The $2 I mean, hook geez. is not going to be happy. <laughs> $2 hook? <laughs> Fucking, uh, <laughs> fuck if you it. What the fuck? $2 hook. I'll have you know it's $2.99. Plus tax. Wait a minute. The are you plus tax out, almost you, gets me to say no. Uh, now you're going up twenty one. I have to understand this. What? I understand. Give her two dollars. One, two. Oh, you mean two dollars? I right. was thinking two ninety nine. No, but you're saying two ninety nine. Now, what are you counting out? <laughs> like, well, what, what are you doing? See. That I'm like, I'm like three quarters makes seventy five cents. <laughs> Two dimes makes 95, 96, 97. Like Four A blankets. Four A blankets. Is this plus tax? <laughs> Two more dimes. That's that's three nineteen. Wow. That's three nineteen. Wow. Three twenty. Three twenty one. Have a nice day Pretty and give me back my manscape, bitch. <laughs> Look out! What the hell? We'll be right back with what we're calling. <laughs> what we're calling? What we calling this, this is the end of the world as we know it. We're gonna cover the, the right the way about what's happening in the WWE right now. And Maria, Maria, who I love so much, the Maria. first lady of wrestling. She wrote me the other night, and she's like, can you believe this is happening? And you know what I told yeah, her? Yeah. Fake news. Fake news. And I feel fine. Fine. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude. Good fucking wine. Yeah. Sir? Ah. Manscaped? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says weed whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscaped, what are you thinking about Love Manscaped, it. dude? You Love it. it. What do you use it for? Necessity. <laughs> what don't I use it for? Put it this way. <laughs> the only hair <laughs> I have on my entire body is these eyebrows yeah. that oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all, that's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so pick. Manscaped there, is you, a must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas. Absolutely. I hate it. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh -oh. Just going to go out there. Oh, boy. Go for it. You're doing a deed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I don't want you to have to admit this because we, as men, we try not to admit this. But if you're going to uh, go do I a know deed it. on a woman, I know would you rather have her be hairless or a little hair, racing stripe, or <laughs> racing stripe. full retro bush? <laughs> racing well, stripe. Retro bush is out. Yes, thank you. Retro bush is out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a small, well-manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, mm. then I, I start, where is that pedophilia line yeah. that I'm, that I'm, I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. Oh, that's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Holy yeah. shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is, has, like I said, well manicured, yeah. you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both I, sides of that. Landing? I just don't, I don't want, <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that. Gotcha. As well. Oh, yeah, look but, what you found. Ooh. I got to be all honest gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older I get though, I don't, I think, I don't think I can be as, uh, 
I found it. Have, I found have it. Have you ever gone down there and like just like you, she slowly brings down the underwear? Then what is <laughs> retro? Just Absolutely. Retro? You're like whoa. Wow. Yeah, like, like it pops out. Do you like walk out or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the <laughs> courage. This is a trooper. Yeah. This is a trooper. Gotta give him an yeah, uh, not all not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I, there you no, go. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> listen, can't, I couldn't. I couldn't Super say. Bush. I couldn't say. Well, <laughs> if you have the same beliefs as Maven, does Manscaped could help you? Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to like you know go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, with that, we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break and anyway. be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. A uh, drop kick. Uh, adopted it. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty Nefaro. By the way, PJ, PJ says that the yeah. 83 Weeks Manscaped uh, commercial is hilarious, and I just said better than ours. <laughs> And now I'm waiting to find out. Okay. Oh, he just said we might top it. I think we did. I like ours. I think it's pretty uh, pretty hilarious. It's better than the other shit. It was that totally improv. That. That's for shit, sure. All right, anyway. That was pretty funny. All right, I dude. I want my manscape, though. Can we find it? Or do we have to launch uh, an investigation? I think we have to launch an investigation. This is ridiculous, man. Oh, go I, think ahead. We'll, I think we'll find it in uh, Abe's... <laughs> Abe <acid>? Abe's backpack. <laughs> They'll never guess I took it. I'll leave a mess. What the Holy shit. Oh, boy. All inside right. joke, guys. Yeah, it is an inside joke. All right, what so Farrow, WWE. Yeah. Fans are emotional, as the rumors yesterday and were that they were selling to the Saudi investment group. You, I want to know what your feelings are about this. You got really... I don't want to say emotional. I might be a little exaggerated. No, that's fair. It is fair. So I go think ahead. that is fair. I was, I was horrified at that, and I was angry at that. And before anybody makes any, uh, you know, jumps to any conclusions as to why, I was thinking about Vince's grandfather, and Vince's father, and Vince, and all the years that my father, and then he turned me onto wrestling, and I started to. I was really upset that he would hand over what I consider, you know, like the Yankees to me, you know, loved it since I was a kid. My father took me to matches. I've always admired the WWF, the changes over the years. I've been there for, the, for a lot of this ride, okay? I, I was horrified at the fact that they would turn it over to people uh, who have not shown that they know anything about wrestling or that they know anything about entertainment. And then I had the, th the feeling that I've, I've never wanted to have, but I know that a lot of people already feel this way about Vince. I thought to myself, if you do this, Vince, you greedy prick, fuck you. I was so angry about it. Um, but I really would like, you know, I'd like you to share for the audience, please, what you said to me regarding the Americanness. Well, I, of Vince McMahon, I said I and, and you were not happy either. Well, I said we have I that said out there? I, I said it's not going. It's not going to happen. Why you, did you I think did it was going to happen? But you weren't happy. No, I, if this was going to happen, mm -hmm. I, I, would I heard no pain longer, in your voice. I would no longer watch right. WWE wrestling. Right, I wouldn't either. The reasons behind it is this: one, the beliefs of the Saudi people. Or the Saudi government. I don't know how you want how to say that. How about the cultural pra practices? Well, that's what I mean. If you don't want to get involved that, in their beliefs, which is I personally don't. I think they're cultural practice. What are you going to do? Dress the women now from well, head to well, toe? Well, that's what I mean. I don't believe in. I, mean, I don't on, believe man. in the uh, the uh, it's oppressive. oppressive yeah. behavior oppressive, towards suppressive. women. Yeah, absolutely. And, I think and it when sucks. you when you have an organization yep. that yep. prides itself on their women yeah. wrestlers, absolutely. Um, so you don't know anything I, about I, wrestling. I, 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 right. I want you to hear me out oh, on this. I'm There's just, a few things because I've been really thinking that I really mo I was I was actually said to my wife yesterday, I'm a little bit depressed. Yeah. Because I don't know what it would be like not to have an organization run by the McMahon family can't in imagine. one form or another. I can't imagine. Um I've always felt that Vince McMahon was I I, I idolized him in many ways I love growing Vince. up. I love Vince. He's like George Steinbrenner to me. I've said it a thousand times. Yeah. A thousand times. But on the other hand, at what point do you think that the McMahon family, and that's including Triple H, are like, mm -hmm. you know what, man? 
Who needs this? I'm tired of wrestling. And when I mean this, hear me out on this. Every Monday, those got to be 15 hour days. Yeah, so. Every you, you Friday, 15 hour days. But hold on. You do them. But the travel. Probably have more fun doing that. But the tra- <laughs> but no, I agree. I'm like, isn't it fun? But at some point, no, it's you're work. like, it's you work. know what? The travel. It's, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't need to do it you know, anymore. You'll excuse me, though. Well, I understand all that. You'll excuse me, though, if basically part of me is, wants to scream at that family. Vince, it's time. Give it to the family and let the family freaking continue what you did, what your father before him did, what your grandfather did. Don't sell it to them. What are you doing? Stephanie, Stephanie resigned. That's another thing. Wait, but hold on. Are you sure everything's okay in paradise? No, 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 no. Stephanie, because I wonder. Stephanie took wanted to take a leave of absence before the whole Vince McMahon problems right. were happening. Right. Again, we had this discussion, and I'll share with everybody. And again, I don't know Stephanie McMahon, of course, but this is a mother who's been working her ass to the bone for quite a long time. When her kids were really tiny, she was always on the road. Now all of a sudden when they're their teens, now's the time? Because you know when you get older, nah. you start reflecting on your life, right? You start going, Look, if, "Hey, if she's entitled to whatever she wants to do obviously." Okay? I mean, obviously. God bless you, Stephanie. Go for it. Whatever floats your boat. I love Stephanie McMahon, okay? I love the whole family. I mean, I don't know them, but I'm fans of the whole damn thing. I always was. Does that make me a mark? Yes, it does. JB great oh, point. Well. Not everybody is Vince. Maybe they're not into it for the long haul. This is true. That's that's possible. Hey, look, but this Triple H. Look, do you want to deal with someone who's do you, not into it? Do you want to sit there and deal with um, the nonsense that goes on, no. like the dark side of the ring? So delegate. Or, or so the, delegate. Okay, but then again, your name is on it, right? Of course. You're the guy. Of course. You're Jimmy Farrell, right? Of so course. you know, hey, listen, you have ESO filling in your spot one day, right? Right? Yeah. And he starts talking about nerdy shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's your reputation. Why is it mine? He's because he's there. in your seat. Well, that's... that's he's the fill-in thing. for the Pharaoh. Okay. So, in other words, the fill-in better know how to fill in. Otherwise, it's going to be Yeah. A... Or, you know, know how to run the ship. And right. not that he is so can run the ship. He was great. I'm just kidding around. Well, he was wasn't sitting around. in my chair. I, he was sitting in yours. I was kidding around. Well. Wait a second. <laughs> what are out. you getting at, Mike? <laughs> Safe. Oh, Bruce, don't don't overread this. You're such a troublemaker. You're really unbelievable. Uh, PJ PJ says I ideally prefer to see Vince and the team of investors take it private again, not sell it off. Okay. Okay. So you wouldn't take it private again. It's not going to happen again, guys. The the the, the dirt What's sheet happen here? hook Disney? stuff is 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 he going to sell? They are selling to who? Disney. Don't know yet. Because after, you know what's funny? I was like horrified at the thought of Disney, but after I read this, you know, this oh, yeah. thing, I was oh, like, so I it just, was it's pretty call good, Mickey right? Mouse right now. And, uh, you know, either way, we're, let's just say it now. Either way, we are most likely losing our WWE. We'll never see anything like it again, and they're going to fuck it up the whoever concern, buys the it. The concern I have fuck is it up. I've not seen in, the, in my 55 years of life or mm-hmm. my We've been 48 years of life watching, watching wrestling, wrestling yeah. whatever We've been it's around. been. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. A yep. non-wrestling person yeah. be successful. I'm, I'm really sad um, about it. I, Paul Heyman was a wrestling guy. Right. But he wasn't a businessman. Right. So was he successful in giving a product that people enjoyed? Right. Sure. Was Eric he successful? Bischoff, Eric Bischoff was a businessman but not a wrestling guy. There you go. Interesting. Interesting. You know, Vince Russo, the annoying one, <laughs> right? The guy that claims on his podcast now all the time <laughs> he, that he hates wrestling <laughs> oh, and yeah. he gets paid to watch Monday Night Raw by, <laughs> I don't know, Wikipedia, whatever, <laughs> Sport, Sportkedia, whatever. Oh, it's God. like the guy hates wrestling, but all you ever hear him is quoting and talking about wrestling. Right. That guy that guy was a videotape star. Seller, you didn't behind re- a table. You didn't return Motel Hell. Exactly. You owe me a dollar. <laughs> exactly. Somehow ends up running a wrestling company know, because yeah. he was because he was smart enough. In, man. No, again, let's that. think about it. Was smart enough to catch on that Jerry Springer was hot, right? And right. went 
Yeah. The Jerry Springer Yeah, role. he did something different. Okay. That's for shit, sure. Did we enjoy it? Yeah. We yeah. enjoyed it for a while, Not all but of it. it wasn't Not sustainable. All of it. Some of it was really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. So the problem uh, is, guys, the real little Patty says maybe they're going to flip it. No, they're not going to flip it. Here's the deal. Who is Vince McMahon selling They're it to? tired. They're tired, guys. And that's what no one is understanding How here. Could they sell Stop it? believing that they're going to sell. And everything else he built. No, listen, now, are you going to ask me if Saudi investors are going to come in and take a piece of it? Sure. I guess. That may happen. I don't Again, don't. my thought process was this. There's no one in that family that wants, hey, Papa. I love wrestling. Please don't sell it. I want to run it one day. I will train under you. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. But I guess they're just tired of wrestling. They're tired of dealing with the bullshit and the fucking wrestlers. Listen, dude, it's got to be draining. Oh, I'm they're sure not it the is best draining. employees. Uh, you know, he right? And then when you feed them, when they finally get let they go, what do they you. do? They, they stab, stab you in the, you in the back. Who the fuck they needs they it? They stab you in the back. Who I needs know. it? No, I know. I'm, who needs it? I mean... Fuck. Hey, we just saw it. Look, with all due respect, I'm not saying this case. The Playboy girl suckers some 72-year-old to pay her rent, and who knows what she was doing for him. Right. And then when it didn't work, here's Vince. Hey, look, I'm hot for you. Well, you know, take care of me. All right, I'll take care of you. And when it's all said and done, I'm I'll going to suck you, you in a boot. I'll pay me. You know? I mean, uh, come yeah, on, it's man. it's a bunch of shit. Come on. Some examples, WCW failed eventually, yeah. got one hot item, the NWO, which was incredible. It, right. It's forever. And Goldberg. It's for and Goldberg, right. forever embedded in my love for wrestling. But it failed. But everything around it, ultimately, garbage. Ultimately failed. TNA. Yep. Look. We had, we had Samoa Joe, AJ Styles come from there. Kurt Angle had half of his career there. Yeah. Uh, if you really break it down, it's second half of his the career. The half I didn't watch. Stu there you go. Sting, the half we didn't watch. Yeah. You're right. But you know what? Where did that wind up? Garbage. There you go. And all due respect to AEW oh, fans. Oh, come on, guys. You haven't figured out it's, that, that crash and burn thing going on? It's bad. Yep. It's bad. Absolutely. The inmates are running the asylum, and it's like WCW light, and there's no harmony in that locker room, and it's a free-for-all, and they have over 60 guys on the roster. You don't see most of them. They, most of the guys just come out, hey, it's me. I came from the other company. Then you don't see them for months. Um, it's a fucking mess All over right, there. All right, so, Farrell, I'm going to give a breakdown, it's a and mess I'm going to ask there. you to weigh in on it. But I want everybody to understand that if Vince doesn't sell, right. eventually the most powerful person in that organization will be Stephanie McMahon. Okay. But I'm going to break it down. I, I, that's not so for me. there's two types okay of stock. And again, there's two types of stock out there that Class A which you and me can buy. Okay. Right? I, I own like 100 shares of WWE stock. I right. bought it back in 1990. Mm -hmm. Right. Whatever. Right. During the attitude. I did right. too. Yeah. Believe it or not. I did too. Did you sell it? Of course I did. <laughs> I just sell it. I sold it at its height. <laughs> what? $20? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like I sold it right. It went up $2. I'm I selling. sold it right before Benoit did what he did. Really? And I got rid of him. I didn't know that that was going to happen. I remember my father going, I think it's time to get rid of these. You know? That's $100 a share now. Yeah. Where'd you, you buy it at? Do you my remember? father also made me a Jet fan, so let's not get into some of the advice I've received over the well, years. You know, if they, they sell to the Saudis, we might be doing a Jet show moving forward. So Wow. You know what, though? We might have more to look forward to with the Jets than we will whatever the Saudis do to wrestling. All right, so you, you've got Class Go A stock, and then you have Class B stock. The What's Class, class B? B is, is where you're in control of the company, right? Oh. Okay, this is where it's all broken down and who's got the most shares and who's got okay. voting power, okay? Okay, so Class B is out of your out of your range too, huh? Class B is out of, out of my range. Damn. All right. So as of today, you. Vince McMahon holds one-third of WWE shares. However, okay. he holds a vast majority of voting rights. Okay. His Class B... Shares gives him 10 times the voting power over that of a Class A person. Okay. So if he has one share of Class B, right. you need 10 shares Jeez. of Class A. Vince is a genius. Okay. 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 Other McMahon family members... Like Linda, Linda McMahon yeah. also hold Class B stock. Uh-oh, what's this about Shane? Shane used to hold a, a large amount, large amount oh, of geez. Class B shares, 
but appears he had disposed of them uh, back in 2014. Wow, what a fallout. Only had. Vince, Linda, and the descendants can hold Class B stock. So, meaning. Can Shane always he get. He can't cla- give. Shane can he get can, Class B back? He can get the Class B back. Okay. Vince can't. Vince died, and Vince was like, I met the Pharaoh. I love the Pharaoh. Guess what? I'm going to give you my Class B. Oh, can't Vince, do it. He shouldn't have. Can't Wait do a minute. it. He didn't. What he do you mean? <laughs> he, he can't. He won't. And legally, it just can't Interesting. happen. Hold that thought. I have to ask you, how, how bad of a fallout must that have been back in 2014? Remember when Shane left? He gave up his shares? Dude, there must have been a serious fight. All there, right, so. Right? I mean, there had to be. He's we, giving up his, we, his we, privileged stock. We know people. We know people in the WWE. Man. All right. From what I we understand, do. that's true. From what I understand, thinking of a couple the, of them right in now in the meetings. Yeah, Vince. Again, I don't think that Vince and his son didn't get along. I always feel like it went wrong with the Shane. Vince thing. was very tough on his son. Yes, he was. Okay, right. Maven was actually saying that he had an idea of the perfect son, and Shane might not have fitted. Interesting. Okay, Only speculation. Only speculation. But of course, from people was, that you know. I do know in the WWE, mm-hmm. uh, some of those meetings were almost brutal. Right. Like, right. Uh, right. So Shane did sell off. That must have been one hell of a fight. Okay. And okay, that's where you're at. So okay. we're gonna pop up the chart so everybody can see it. You real have quick. a chart. We have a chart. Wow. When did Kinda we get gives, so smart? There you go, baby. Wow. That's give a nice a chart. A little bit of a breakdown on how it works. This is fucking awesome. All right. Hit it. I'm Professor waiting for it to pop up on my screen because my eyes are not there. Oh, okay. And I could, I probably would have been smart enough to have it sitting on the Wait, script. Your thing's on delayed compared to that thing it over there? Oh, wow. I have the chart Science. sitting on the script. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. This is as far <laughs> as of March funny. 2022. Okay. As you can see, Vince is the ma- majority shareholder. Yeah. Stephanie. Um, Stephanie, I, I want to see. She got I there. can't. Stephanie has two point five percent of the voting rights. That, that, Linda that has point like seven. That? Wow. Vince has thirty seven point six. <laughs> and then they there's a breakdown of class. There's a He's breakdown a of class shares. Like there's investment groups. Like okay. BlackRock has seven point eight. So Who's those Black all Rock? broken up. Okay. But Vince has the majority voting right. rights. At the end of the as day, I think everybody's aware. Of. Right. At the end of the day, his opinion is going to override right. everybody's. Now, You're brilliant. Vince. Vince, now, man. I will man. understand this. Okay. If mm. Vince was to pass away tomorrow, right. Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon she's got the most. is becoming the new majority does, shareholder. I don't see Paul being mentioned. What does Triple H Paul have Paul does not have any Class yes. B. He what is not the? a McMahon. Wow. Right? So remember how I discussed that you have to be a family member. He is not a blood family you member. You know what? I, I, I'm not going to... You know what? I almost am jumping to a conclusion here. Go ahead. Vince McMahon is not going to sell this to anybody. Look at how he... You're not even a McMahon. Triple H, you don't get McMahon. Yeah, that no, that's a law up? thing, though. That's not a Vince thing. That's a law thing. Oh. Okay, so... How do you know You can't marry... Well, okay. This is... You're, yeah, good, you're good at wrestling. I'm good at money. I'm good at a lot of things, but I. But I you're good do. at a lot. That's what I mean. You're good yeah. at a, like music and yeah, all that other yeah, shit. Yeah. This is my wheelhouse. Yeah, I see that. Sort of I see that. So, oh, so this was gonna have to happen this way, one way or the other. One I'm, I'm, way or the other. Wow, this really protects people like Vince McMahon. That's correct. So that's how empires stay empires. That's correct. Very interesting. Well, should it be any other you way? Be careful now that I'm learning Vince, this kind of information. Vince is now the Vince, things I could come up with. Vince here. created this wow. would it be fair for him to still lose it no absolutely not absolutely not but you know didn't julius caesar lose the empire now a lot e- of people e- yeah. too, well it can I mean, happen right i was in a company right. where someone went public okay and they had 51 percent of the shares Oof. and Oof. they ended up losing the company uh um, wow there was a there was a kind of Oof. you ever hear something called a hostile takeover Yo, absolutely okay absolutely that's a real that's a real thing that can happen a, a company can be hostile taking so over. if vince passes away tomorrow stephanie's 2.5 becomes 39.5 there you go wow that's fantastic there you go that's and now fantastic. stephanie she's in charge she's in charge Very stephanie good. could squash this all tomorrow right okay right right is Stephanie stepping down for now because ultimately she's going to come back and take this job? No, Stephanie is stepping down when for Vince a couple of reasons. Ultimately passes. I, again, why is she? I, like I can that. only guess why she's stepping down, but I will tell okay. you what I think happened. Okay. I think Stephanie number one is tired. 
That's fair. But more importantly, I think Steffi understands that the company's being sold. So when a company's being sold, she's going to be knocked out of that CEO chair. Hmm. And Hmm. again, there Hmm. is a possibility of a majority owner being Hmm. Saudi Arabian, I guess. Wow. You know, maybe there is discussions. Do you about, have any gut read if they sell who they would sell to? Would it be Disney? Here's my worry. What um, if it's Woody Johnson? Then we're really in trouble. Mitch Seinfeld, Professor Monty. Mitch Sharon's Seinfeld's going to buy WWE. Sharon's that works. Well, some people are saying the, the new the new click clickbait out there is the cons are now putting their hat in the ring to buy the WWE. Okay. Now. Anybody you think has a real shot of buying? Is Disney a valid thing? I know Nick Connor was in Florida. He was just he was talking. I think, there's no I way think... Vince McMahon is selling to, to the Khan. What's the matter? Oh, I thought you meant Tony Khan. Can you imagine? I'll sell it to Tony no. Khan. Don't do that. What are you they're, doing? They're talking about this. That, is why right? he he triumphed over WCW to ultimately sell to the Khan, Tony Khan. You would think wow. for the for the, for the normal person like us, it's not what we want to hear. Lame. That's absolutely but, lame. Vince you know, would never do that. I was talking no to way. Mitch today, and Mitch no is way. right, though. So he to defeated. Kill a con before he sells he it to defeated. Nick, uh, Tony con. Wait a minute. Matthew Holland says Mike the sandwich eater and Jimmy the juggling Jimmy. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. You're a juggler, and I eat a lot of sandwiches. Wow. Well, um, you don't got gas, do you? No. Okay, good. Should I pull your finger to find out? <laughs> Jay Will, T. Boone Pickens, the hostile takeover guy back in the day. Yes. Oh, wow. Phil, where's Ted Turner? He's got dementia, Phil. I don't think he's jumping into this pile of crap. Goldberg. <laughs> if you were to run a business, yeah. as fun as it is, yeah. I don't think wrestling would be the business you'd want to be in. I was Because I was, I was saying, if let me ask I you this. If I had the financial capabilities, Would trust, WWE be the me, one that you wanted? I would be enjoying it. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you on that. Okay. Don't you've talk got, to me about the unknown pressures you've because got, we don't know what they would got, be. Six billion dollars, yeah. right? Because okay. I think that's going to be. If I got six ass. billion dollars, I'm not owning anything. <laughs> so I'm going out into. So the you're mix. being Vince. Yeah, but I, no, oh, you're I'm not being, being Vince because I just said you no, want. I'll tell you why I'm not being Vince because I'm not going to wait till I'm fucking eighty something years old to do it. I would have done it a long but, time but ago. But you understand why he? Yeah. What? Wait a minute. Here he is. He loved wrestling. Yeah. He loved what he was doing. He copied Wait a minute, all You sound things. like me. I, I loved wrestling. Uh, but, and then we started but hold on. the show. And Vince said, and then Vince <laughs> yeah, said. Now look at me. And then, and then Vince <laughs> look said. Look at you. And then Vince said, <laughs> Vince said, you know what? Yeah. None of my family really wants this anymore. Oh, they don't love it like see, that would, me. That would depress me. Get rid of it. That would depress me. Maybe, maybe he, do you think he's actually, is that possible that the sure. rest of my family's like Stephanie's like, hey, dad. I love you. Do you think this we recent, had a good run. I'm you, tired. You think the recent shit had caused sure, them to have conversations not? like why all, not? all of them? Why yeah, not? Very interesting. Vince, please be careful with who you sell it to. Jay Will least. says Joe Biden still thinks that Bruno <laughs> still has a strap. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I thought Biden thought it was Luthez. I'm going to ask you this. I'm yeah. challenging you on this. Go ahead. You win New York lottery, right? And yeah. right now it's one point two billion. The, straight to the woods. Say Leave me alone. No, but say it's six I, billion. You'll never see me again. But hold on. Well, maybe you will. By the you. Jets. By the WWE. I'll buy the Jets. There you go. I'll buy the Jets. There's your answer. Yeah, I'll buy the Jets. So now you're starting to understand I what's happening with the I only have to truly McMahons. stress out 16 or 17 weeks a year <laughs> with the Jets. I mean, think about you know? Tony Khan. Tony Khan got into this. Yeah. He made, It's a TV show. It's a toy, first of but all. But guess Tony what, Khan. though? Tony yeah. Khan is spending one day, mm-hmm. one day a week. Right, he's no Vince. He's go- one day yeah, a week. No. He's going to television. He don't fucking work the way Vince did. And he's talking to his wrestlers throughout the week he while he's doing something else. He don't fucking work the way WWE Vince did. WWE is a juggernaut. Yeah, Vince They're traveling all, all the, the time. time. All the time. Three hundred and fifty-six days. And there you not go. Not even that many in a year. Or is there? I have these three hundred sixty-five. Sorry, I'm tired. Three, 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 Phil six, says, six, if you if you win six billion dollars, Jimmy, we'll be all out in the desert taking peyote. Who said that? Phil. Phil DeCessere? Yeah. Phil, can you get me some peyote, man? It's been rough lately. I need to pick me up. All right, so we kind of, we kind of have a breakdown here, right? Yeah. All right, so yeah. today the WWE announced that they've retained the Rain Group as financial advisor, Kirkland and Ellis as a legal advisor. Okay. Okay? So there's one thing for sure everybody has to understand. All right. The WWE is selling. Stop okay. saying that, man. It is selling. That, that sucks. Please understand this. 
the next question is what does it mean for everybody yeah me you chris lee jason morning phil all of us who love pro wrestling yeah what does this mean pharaoh it's you well you know what this means the real question is, is, is what does it, not what doesn't this, matter who buys it. The real what question. What does it mean? The real question is, is, is not what it's going to mean to you, me, Chris Lee, or any of those awesome people who watch every week with us. It's going to be what the WWE means to Vince, to Stephanie, to Triple H, to Shane, to even Shane, to Linda. It's gonna. It, that's what's gonna matter. If they care enough about, or, and I, I got to believe in my heart that Vince does, care enough about his grandfathers, his fathers, and then his product, that he turned into this amazing, amazing spectacle that we know as the WWE, WrestleMania, and everything else he did. I am going to pray that Vince McMahon is going to follow. I'm not going to pray over this. I won't. This is wrestling. Let's relax. But I am going to hope from the bottom of my heart that Vince McMahon is going to find someone that he will be comfortable with the profit. He will be comfortable with what it leaves its shareholders. And he will be most importantly comfortable with who he has sold it to. To preserve and continue what he built, what his father built before him, and what his grandfather started way back in the 1920s and 30s. That's really... We're going to find out what this all means for us after Vince decides what did this all mean to him. I'm going to read a few That's things. That's how I feel. We'll see what happens. Do the right thing, Vince, man. Please. Please. Jason Warner says, I hope it isn't going to happen. No Me McMahon too. at yeah. the helm isn't WWE. Like Lewis Cannon, NBC is the best hope. That'd be Fox cool. Fox second. Interesting. Disney third. All right. I'm not, I'm not losing. I'm not going crazy. with a dip. That's all good. That's fine. NBC. Here, right. okay. I, I think so. Here's the thing. NBC over the, the my concern one. as a wrestling Perhaps. fan is really this basic. Yeah. If you... We've already saw television people run wrestling. Yeah. If we have. we're going to turn this over to someone that doesn't understand the industry... Look, it's right. no different than right. if they said, Hey, Mike Monty. Right. We love you. Yeah. You're now in charge. I would fuck it up. I got you. I, I would understand. fuck it up. I understand. I understand. That's as much as hoping. people think this they would. This is Vince's baby. Let's just hope he loves it enough that he's not just going to pass his child. It's not just Vince's baby. The, Vince is, is wrestling. Of course, it's of course. So but it's being sold. I know you don't want it to happen. No, it I is. don't. This is why the name of the show is because this is the end of the world as we know this it. This is the end of the world because as we know wrestling, it. it's over. Yeah. The best thing you're going to get, yeah, okay, is don't, what you're seeing in AEW I, right now. Now, here's a question to you. What if you tune in, Royal Rumble's as great as it always is, Rock comes back, WrestleMania's off the hook, he's wrestling Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you even care who owns the WWE? Wow, we, have we taken an interesting path to get to my answer? Nope. But that will be because Vince sold it to the right person because it was his baby and he wanted to make sure that it was left in good hands so you and I could feel, you know, what we've always felt watching the product growing over these all these years, you know. Jay Will says Saturday night main event used to be must see like magic versus birth. Yes. I gotta tell you one thing yes. about Saturday night's main event. It was event. so awesome. It was great. I have a soul. I, I hate to admit this, but sometimes NBC. I watch these old WWE Saturday night main events, I stuff like them. that. I have a ball with them. And I almost get teary-eyed. Of course, man. Because uh, they're so wonderful. Look, it was a great I time mean, Piper, back in the 80s, too. Piper, remember just the Halloween general, not thing just with Piper at the Halloween? Yeah. Or George the Animal Steel at the zoo? Yeah. Uh, my God. Dude, that was a great stuff. I was man. just watching the Orndorf Piper's Pit right after WrestleMania yep. where he got pinned. Yep. And it's so organic. That's incredible. You know? That Sit was, down! That was incredible. Dunce! Yeah. I just like... No, it was incredible. It was great. What? It, him and his white shorts built like a brick shit house. I always look forward to Saturday night's main event. 
Always. You know, that was a great thing to watch with your buddies, too. Yeah. Back then. We were teenagers back then, you know. That was awesome on Saturday night, hanging out with your friends, watching that. It was great. Lou says great after show. 2004, pro wrestler was kind of dead. It is kind of dead, man. But you know what? Once we lose the McMahons, it's dead. All I wish is this, Vince. Oh, you want to go on pastures, uh, greener pastures. I get it. Your daughter's done. Yeah. Whatever. Please what don't it? sell it to the Saudi uh, please, investment come on, firm. Vince. Come on, Vince. At least keep it American because at least I could feel proud about it. I mean, look, I was I mean, talking. I mean, you held the first live event after 9-11, Vince. You know Roy Batiste, I mean? the mega power handshake. God, the moments. Yeah. Listen, we're in great times right now with the bloodline. I'm loving it. I'm 55 and I love the I bloodline. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. All I'm saying is, look, we're, we're towards an end where wrestling is dying. Um, or could be, but I don't want to get that crazy. But I'm not happy about this. Uh, uh, not having the McMahons running the WWE is a nightmare. Mitch Seinfeld, perfect comment. Don't worry, there are plenty of guys pushing shopping carts at Walmart who wrestle on independent shows in front of 25 people. That's exactly the problem. It's hey, over. Mitch, there's an event in Bay Shore. We were thinking about going. You want to go check it out? I heard it's the librarian versus the kung fu expert. It's going to be great. $5 a ticket. Can't wait. I'm in better shape than half the roster. What do you think? I think. You ready? I Let's think, go. I think. Oh, we're fucked. I think. <laughs> we're fucked. The only thing you could we're hope fucked. right now is that um, Triple H stays in charge for yeah, a little while. Where does Triple H fall into all of this? He's, he must feel like a fucking like, no, handball. No, understand something. You know, that guy's he's, the, he's the actual wrestler. He he's must be had, going like, what? No, I think what he's had health problems, now? and he kind of wants to just spend time with his family. You may be right, and he's earned it. And you know what? Who's to say Triple H doesn't want to go on and buy a chain of Wendy's? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> buy, why not? Buy this combo. Uh, pull Welcome up to, to the, Wendy's. Uh, pull up to the Red Square. Uh, anyway, whatever the WWE decides, we love you. Thank you for the memories. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, can we not do that yet? Can we wait and see what happens? I'd like to think that this is what, just... Whatever's going to happen. It's maybe gonna... Stephanie just needs a little time off, and Vince is getting older, and, and when he passes, she'll come back and run everything and keep everything in the McMahon family. Here's, what I, wa uh, here's what I want people to understand <laughs> not to fret about. Okay. It's going to take at least a half a year to a year for them to decide on someone to buy it. Mm. Okay? They're the ones shopping it. Perhaps they've already been doing that. Maybe they've already been doing okay, that. Okay, but it's still going it, to... This is a publicly traded company, mm. so it, this takes a while. What would you do if Control Your Narrative bought it? Stop. So... Then you stop! But here's That's the, all here, I wanted to know. The, here's the other point <laughs> yeah. I want you to understand. Go ahead. When companies are bought like this, no matter what type of company, yeah. they just don't wipe out the people who are working there. All there right! Is, there, is an ex, there is an exit strategy sometimes. Okay. But a lot of times they turn around and go, hey, man, we love the work you're doing. Keep it going. We're going to give you this much amount of money a year. You like it? Yeah, good. You're in charge. So who's to say Triple H isn't going to stay in charge? Right. He may, and Shawn Michaels right. and Road Dogg and True. Bruce Pritchard. They may and, want these guys to be running this. Exactly. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. We don't doing. know what we're doing, there right? You know. Keep it going. We love it. That doesn't feel good, though. That we they love don't it. know what the fuck they're doing. I, I wouldn't be happy with that. I'm hoping Vince sells to somebody who knows what the fuck they're going to do. RJ right. says, I hope it's not Dixie Carter. Don't worry. It's oh, not my be Dixie God. Carter. That would be interesting. So anyway, guys, I gave you the breakdown. Awful, Don't fall awful. for the for the dirt sheet nonsense out there. It doesn't happen like this. <clears throat> no company gets bought out like this, especially publicly traded companies. Right, right. So, again, the reason Vince is back in is very simple. He missed it. Maria Davis said, WWE sold about two years. Watch. Yes. I agree. Jason Moaning. This is really true. Trump should buy it. Imagine if Trump came in with his group and bought it. It'll be sold. The whole regime could stay. Vince is back because Vince wants to be part of the sale. Okay? What would the portion of wrestling fans who hate Donald Trump, you think they'd still watch the wrestling? I think people because would be Because I've never seen somebody divide, Trump. you know, get, people get such passionate opinions. You know, could you imagine? All right, I want to remind everybody, again, like Jeez. I said, if you become a member of this YouTube page, yeah. you get a video from every guest we have here, a shout-out or whatever, which is privately sent to you, right. and it will also be posted on the members-only portion of mm -hmm. it. 
Um, also, we got Manscape, which is a new, uh, a you new have sponsor. Manscaped. Mine got, got stolen. Yep. So again, please go to Manscape, get a gift for somebody, use the M A N D P code to get twenty five percent off. We'd greatly appreciate that. Vince back in commentary, Phil. Oh, I'd love it. Um, oh, that would be that, so how great. great would that be? I love Vince on um, commentary. With what that, with that being said, <laughs> Saturday we have two special interviews. One starting with. Certified G and a bona fide stud. There you go. Enzo Amore. Tell me your thoughts on Enzo Amore. What, what what enthralls you about having him in studio? Oh, well, first of all, I loved Enzo and Cass. I did. I, I thought that they were very, very entertaining, and they definitely had it, and they were definitely over. I also feel that Enzo is just one of those frustrating dudes where it's like, what what went wrong, bro? You had everything going for you guys. What went wrong? We know he had his struggles with the wrestling. A lot of people were very critical of him in the ring. But I stand by this. Enzo Amore, during his little time, as, as, you know, that he was with, the, got a chance to work there, he was one of the best talkers in this business. Man, can that guy talk. He is a five-star promo. Could be a manager. Man, he should have been a manager. B forty says, "What would have been great?" Gene Simmons bought the WWE. Gene Simmons is awesome, and he's a great businessman. And I think we would actually be in good hands. You could have the WWE coffin, just like the Kiss coffin. And that after Enzo is Super Agent Eric Simpson House. Nice, very good. Make sure you batten down the fridge, and you know. And then we reinforce got the Chris couch. Adonis, Chris Masters in studio what later about, on. What about him? I don't want to. I don't want to hear about him. Anyway, guys, this is a, this. Listen, no matter how much you. Disapprove of the WWE nowadays or approve of the WWE. This is a sad time. Regardless, it, you know, if we lost Vince to death, right? Yeah. Um, it would be yeah, sad. that would be bad. And that me personally, I was I'm, really rocked I'm by happy this. for Stephanie McMahon. Um, I think she represented women in business Stephanie McMahon's awesome. very well. Yeah. Um, She's and awesome. Yeah, I really think I agree. And I also don't think she gets enough credit. She's one of the greatest villainous in the history of this business, what a nasty heel she was. She look does what, not get enough look credit. What she's Stephanie done. McMahon was excellent heel on camera. Stop. She was great. She wasn't good at it. She was great at it, being a heel. She was. She was despised. She did a great job. I will tell you this. And one thing and another thing about the Saudi thing is I, I don't think I could watch WWE because I enjoy the women so much. Well, I really I do. I just I, can't I, stand how they would they treat them, make them dress head to toe like that. It's just... It, 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 just stop. Do you remember the very first Saudi event that they did over there? Do you remember the, the, I guess it was the royal family. They had all the seats up front. You got your back turned. You're not even watching the fucking matches. You're sitting there talking to your friends. They put a squash on that after. There was a lot of criticism that all the rich people up front were just not even paying attention. It was like just another day at the office. You know how many kids would just die to have their parents take them to sit up that close? These people didn't give a shit. By the way, I got. By uh, RJ says she was great, so he agrees with you on Stephanie. She was. I will great. say AEW last night that cat Los Angeles off uh, that audience. Yeah, they were fuck. They were crazy loud. Okay, I got to give them a lot of credit. I sure. was even impressed. Yeah, and well, then my wife, my yeah. wife sat and pointed out all the Every nerd wrestling the fans. She goes, <laughs> "Look at that!" Guy. She goes, "Let me ask you something, honey." I go, "Yeah." She goes, "At what point? At what age do you realize that wrestling is fake and nerdy? And when are you going to stop watching?" I would have been like. I'm sorry. I think there's another television downstairs. Perhaps you'd like to watch This Is Us down there? Yeah, but, you know, I was going to say Why that. Why are you picking when, on wrestling But, when, but when then you start pointing out all the people well, in the audience. Well, just because she's right doesn't she's mean that. She's pointing out, like, <laughs> yeah. as the camera scrolls, she's like, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Uh, look at that God. guy. And I'm like, I can't, oh, I can't, man. I can't, I can't, I can't. That is kind of It's kind of hard to argue with her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, anyway, want to thank. anybody you knew? When she was pointing out, I was like, oh, shit, that's the guy that I know. I know that guy. Look at that loser. I saw Bruce. Wow. That was creative. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. You know, he's throwing shit at his set right now. I can he's hear angry. the tomatoes I'm splatting off. off. He just hit you on the screen with the tomato. Anyway, Bruce is doing a show with Chris Lee on our channel. I'm just waiting for them to do one, to produce it. I tried to get to in me. touch with Chris, but he unfriended me. I don't know what's going on. That's terrible. What are you talking about? Anyway, we'll see you guys Chris on Saturday. He's paying Saturday. money to break my neck. What time is the show on Saturday? 10.30? 10. 10. Ten. I think it's ten. Ten with Enzo. How you doing? Enzo in studio. There you go. How you doing? And, uh, and then we got Eric Sims. So we thank you guys for Eric. joining us in another thirty. I think 
I think we kind of made it clear what's happening, so don't believe everything you hear. Yeah, slow It'll down. all work Everybody out slow one down. way or the other. I Farrow. Hope. You've been watching Monty and the Farrow, and until Saturday, how you doing? We will see you then with Enzo Amore. Later.